Alright, we're checking out the only game where the smaller the gap is, the larger my insanity grows, it's GTA. We wanted to find out which bike in GTA could squeeze through the smallest gap, and so Alex has put together a board that tests exactly that. Of course, it wouldn't be an Alex board without ridiculous challenges along the way, and each time the gaps get shorter, the challenges get worse. He's given me all these bikes to use, and every one of them can be used an infinite number of times. Let's do this. Straight up, I'm picking the bicycle first. I know, I know. Why are you choosing the bicycle, Great. Listen, I don't know if you remember, but the bicycle was actually the vehicle that made it through the <laughs> through a couple of the different challenges we've done, including the water challenge. Maybe it'll do well here. This is a timed board, and each level is one inch shorter than the next. The other thing is, too, I need a vehicle that is really short. And look, I have a ton of distance be be between my head which is the melon that's gonna end up getting juiced <laughs> because of these lowering beams and the, ooh, I almost got my legs taken out, and the rest of the board right here. There we go. Okay, so now you have stop signs that are, oh, God! Some of my vertebrae are missing. Okay, so we had stop signs, then we have, he's also given me some weapons, so I don't know if I'm gonna need to shoot down a plane or something. Knowing Alex, that's probably something I'm going to have to do. So we're at level 10. There's still a ton of space between, what is this? Oh, it's like teleporting, it's teleporting, uh, <laughs> it's teleporting ramps. Okay, so this one goes back and forth and teleports. Now there is, what is this? Parkour! Whoa! <laughs> How are you supposed to get past this? How are you supposed to get past these bumps? I'd have to like dump the bike or something. That one's teleporting. Oh no, it's, it's, yeah, it's teleporting or it's just disappearing. I'm not really sure. Okay, so, whoa, oh, they're poppers. They're not bumps, they're balloons. Also, I have to mention, I am getting disturbingly close to the explodey part of the board. Oh yeah, I told you, man. Is that as far as the bicycle can get? What is this, like level 15 or something? This is terrible. All right, I'll use a legitimate motorcycle. I feel like putting on my helmet is a terrible thing to do because it makes my head slightly tall. Okay. Oh, the teleporting ramps are gonna be a real pain in my, my, whatever the top of the head is, my forehead. I'm gonna have like a three head soon because it, okay. Yep, forgot about the poppers. I am, I, at this point, I've got to have lost part of my skull. It's got to be flatter now. Oh, that's why he gave me the gun. I thought I would need to shoot like an, uh, well, you know, like a, like a helicopter or something. He wants me to shoot the balloons. Only problem is they don't blow up in the first shot. It takes like two or three shots to blow them up. There's the bicycle. That's how far that, are those, are those saw blades? Oh my God. Well, my motorcycle is uh, smoking rather violently. Oh, never mind. It is it is peeing motorcycle blood. Well, that's as far as this one can make it. Okay, now I get it, all right? There's a shield on the back, but the shield is basically the same height as my character, so maybe it's not that bad. Here we go, okay? Oh yeah. Oh, whoa, I forgot about the stop. Uh, <laughs> These stop signs are pretty hard because you have no idea when they're down all the way or maybe they're halfway up or something. And then the next thing you know, you're running face first into a bunch of corrugated metal. I'll go over there, all right, or I could just slam it to the side of the wall. Wow, I'm hitting every single slowdown stick. Okay, so that's 10, 11. <laughs> What happened there? What happened? The the teleporting ramp was nowhere near me. Hold on a second. I need to test something real quick. So that's, here's the, what? Oh, this is a troll. The ramps are always there. They're invisible. They're just turning, the, ow, my ankle. They're just turning visible for a second. Alex, that's dirty. All right, I still want to see how, oh my God. I still want to see how far this thing can make it. I just don't know if I'm going to be able to make it. Obviously, I can't go three for three on the, but I totally, really? <laughs> I totally went three for three. I hit every ramp. Second time's the charm. There we go. Okay, this is uh, this one. Uh, oh God, I'm gonna slow down. Yeah, there's no way I could get over to the side in time. 
This is a weird board because it's unbelievably fast. You have to move the whole time. All right, so go kind of in the middle and this. Ah! Ah! Ouch! <sighs> oh! So these ones really are teleporting. Oh god, I forgot to pop this. When I complete this, and I will complete this, Alex. When I complete this, this is gonna be the fastest speed run I've ever had to do on a motorcycle in GTA. Okay, 19, 20. So we've gotten to level 20. 21, 22 is where that motorcycle died. Then I have to, oh my God, it's a tightrope made of glass. Just leaving my, my, uh, my face print on the wall there. Starting to hate this motorcycle. Not gonna lie. Oh God, no. No. Ow. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, this is the king run. Oh, right here. Oh my God. Right here. Boom, watch this, around the stop stick. Uh, okay, I kind of kind of glanced off of that one. Okay, level 10, now we have the, te well, they're not really teleporting. I just need to you know, go in the middle. These ones are actually teleporting. Uh, 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 uh. You know, Alex, you made a board where I have to think fast, but I'm not able to think because you keep using, oh, hey, you keep using stuff that that is busting my skull on concrete. Oh, I need to watch the tires. Oh no, I just lost both tires. This is the last try. I'm gonna do this. Oh my God, no. Oh, this wall. It's like a, it's like a violent fruit roll up. Oh, come on. <laughs> ah, ah, my <laughs> what happened to the motorcycle? Ah! Oh, oh God! What have I done? No! Oh, come on! We have this. Oh God! I know this board is timed, but I don't know what happens if you don't finish it in time. I just want to get past these balloons. Ah! Oh yeah. Okay. Now we're now we got the aim down. Okay, twenty. 21, now go through, watch out for the tires, then onto the glass. I'm assuming that's there because if you pop your tires, you can't make it past the the glass. So in 30, even slower, what did that just say? Did that say even slow? is that water? Are those, are those rockets? What do rockets have to do with, with squeezing a bike through anything? Why are there so many? <laughs> All right, new plan. Yes, we're using this. It's technically really short. Right? This should be able to squeeze through the smallest gaps. See? I don't think the antenna counts as part of the bike. So I'm, okay. I'm pretty sure this can squeeze. Oh yeah. Oh, this is doing great. Well, that's now it's not so great. So now we've got the invisible, but being made visible ramps. I can get around those pretty easy. Oh yeah, I got the timing down. Oh, I got the timing down. Oh, this is fantastic. And the poppers didn't even respawn this time. Screw you, Alex. Yes, level 20. Come on, baby, 21. Get past the poppers for the tires. Gotta watch out for those. Then we just go over the glass. That is really, oh my God. That is really bad for my, oh, 29. We almost made it to 30. I'm gonna say it's really bad for my blood pressure. In fact, I think I can squeeze this thing even further. Nope, I was wrong. Not really a motorcycle, but Alex considers it a bike. It's <laughs> he put LOL on the license plate. <laughs> Whatever. I mean, it looks kind of low to the ground. Uh, can this thing go over the? Uh, yeah. The oh, hey. This. What is happening here? Why is it levitating? What kind of David Blaine stuff is this? I can't get my bike back. Oh, you're a wizard, Harry Potter. Oh yeah. <laughs> Ouch. We are never going to speak about what just happened. Oh, it's so wide. It can't make it through the slowdown sticks. We are never going to talk about what just happened just then. All right, I can go a little bit slower. Oh yeah. Okay, now shoot out the poppers. Boom, right there. No big, oh my God, what teleported on top right? It's fine, I'm back in the game. I'm a winner. I'm a winner. I'm winning. Everything is going just, oh no. No, it hit both the spike strips. <laughs> we will never talk about this again. I know what you're asking. You're saying, but Ray, are you really going to stand there until the engine blows up? Yep, I don't care how long it takes. 
You can see right now it's smoke. Well, it's on fire now. Let me have this. And that's what happens when you fail me. Should I pick this? The license plate says, really? <laughs> like, really it's going to work? Or really you're an idiot, Gray? I mean, and so far it's doing pretty good. The pro- The problem is me. Ow. What I was trying to say is the problem is it's so wide that it's going to get stopped by the slowdown sticks and it's going to hit part of the- part of the ramps. Oh, I could just dump this thing the whole way- oh, Are you kidding me? Level 10. Doing great. Past the ramps. Hit that one, but it's no big deal. Hit that one, but it's- Oh my god, I didn't take out the gun. There we go. Okay. Uh, oh, I didn't fly off. That's really weird. Whatever. It got to level 20. I made it to level 20 on this. Now it's going to lose all of its tires. Because there's no way I can make it past these. It's too wide. We don't need tires. Where we're going. What is this? Why is there a cowering person inside of the inside the map? Alex, why are these people here? Anyway, it's fine. Just watch at my success. Okay, I was right. If you have no tires on your bike, you cannot make it across the glass bridge. You know what time it is? This is called slick. <laughs> I hate myself sometimes. Anyway, this is called slick. Look at the speed. Oh my god! You know, I didn't really lose a lot of time because we slid probably half a mile. Oh yeah, speed. Speed and agility. Look at it. Level 20. Level 21. No big deal. All right, go through all of the tire poppers. Fantastic. Onto the glass tightrope. Over to the right. Over to the middle. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh I lost the back tire. No, no, no. Oh, I made it to the waterboard. What was that? What was Is that a... Is that a rocket? What happened? How come I'm on fire randomly? I'm burning alive. I'm burning alive underwater. Why? I need to get to that part again because I think I saw something, but I'm not 100% sure exactly what I just saw. It looked like rockets were moving in... Ouch. We're moving in slow motion. Right here, here. Look at this, look at this. Okay, so we're going through this. Yeah, the rockets are going through the water and they create little underwater mines because they're moving so slowly. Ow, I don't think I can go any lower. Here though, you, you actually get to see them. Do you see them? And then the rockets just stop and they float on by until they eventually blow up. This is a really neat idea for a board. My bike's on fire. I have to show you guys something real quick. You ready? <laughs> If you even touch the slowly moving rockets, you insta die. All right, what we need is speed and agility. And so we're going. I'm not stopping. Look at, all right, well, you know, I didn't stop of my own volition then. I just kind of slowed down. We're going for pure speed here. The hot, <laughs> not sure if any of you ever knew what your own uvula tastes like. Well, I do now because the bottom part of my head was just inside of the top part of my head. How did that happen? It's an Alex board. Why wouldn't it happen? Oh my God. Oh no. We're doing fine. We're doing fine. This is a good run. I just need to not pop any of my tires. There we, no, I lost the back tire. You know what? This thing's still going pretty fast. Now you do lose some speed under the water. Oh, my bike is now burning. It's burning. I'm starting to wonder if any of these motorcycles can fit under the gaps because I don't know how many levels there are, uh, but the gaps are getting really, really small and it's getting to the point where, oh, come on, this board, this, this section is ridiculous. <laughs> Look, there's just grenades everywhere. Look at them. <laughs> don't mind me, Gray still plays, just going fishing for grenades. Pretty typical day in Alex. Oh my God. In Alex crafted GTA. It's like being on a minefield. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh, my bike just got yeetily deeded right off the board. I'm pretty sure level, I don't know, 34 or something is about as far as that bike can get because I, I did hit my head there. Oh yeah, I think this bike's even lower though. Look at this. Look at, oh my God. Look at how much speed. Mm. I keep forgetting to take the gun out. 
And so I, hey, big landing, look at that. And so I keep having to take my gun out at the last second or just ramping the problem. That's going to be my new saying in life. Just ramp the... What happened to the glass? Did a pedestrian... Why are the wolves down here? It's like coyote or something. Did you guys mess up my glass? You know what would be great this time? If when I'm having a good run like this, there's actually... <sighs> there's actually glass when I get to it. All right. Level 20, no big deal. Dodge, keep all my tires. Okay, we have all the glass this time, so everything went fine. Off to the right, over to the middle. There's the original bicycle, no big deal. We're on level 30, probably 32. I've gotta dodge all of the, all of the incredibly slow moving mackerel that blow up whenever you get close to them. They don't wanna enjoy my gray still plays embrace. They just want to blow me up. Oh, one almost touched my head. Well, that's about as far as this bike can make it. Okay, I have an idea. I just talked with Alex about the, oh my God. I just talked with Alex about the underwater board. He said it's possible because he gave me a power up that I have not used. Oh, Jesus. He gave me a power up that I haven't used yet. There's a little thing off to the side that says even slower. I thought if I beat the board slower, it would be worse because the timer would run out faster. But he mentioned that it slows everything down, including the timer. So I think we might be able to do this. We're gonna try it. Okay, get past them. Oh no, 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 no. You know what? It's, it's, I can't do this with no tires. Even slower, let's do it. Oh. Uh, oh wow, this is really slow. Oh, this is like some John Wick stuff. I am dodging RPGs by an inch in bullet time. Oh yeah. Oh, this is really cool. Oh, uh, look at this, boom, right there. Now I can see them. So now I can legitimately maybe dodge them. It's hard to see in the water, but you can kind of tell. So I'm gonna come, to there's one right there ahead of me, look at that. Right there, saw it at just the last second. If, oh, one right there, over to the left. If I would have touched either of those, I would have blown up. And, oh, we're almost at level 40. I got to level 39 for the first time. You may be saying to yourself, Gray, why are you using that skull bike? It has the worst handling of any bike in all of GTA. You're right. Now, testing this is making me want to uninstall GTA, only for me to buy the actual CD in like a GameStop or something, break it in half, and then shove it down my throat until I can't see it anymore. What's weird is, as bad as this motorcycle is at driving, oh, what the? Oh, whoa, okay, the glass is starting to break on its own. As, as bad as this bike is, it, it can get to level 30, 32, 33, I think. I didn't even get blown up. I'm never using that motorcycle again. Oh, we're getting lower. This motorcycle has the height. This motorcycle has the speed. This motor... Ow, 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 ow. I landed in this bush. It broke my fall. Unfortunately, what it didn't stop is me losing 90% of my skin, which now has to be grafted on. Oh, you're the golden bike. You literally are the golden bike. Ah. You literally are the golden bike, but you're doing very well. The problem is that I keep hitting every single thing that can yeet me into these beams and breaking my neck. We don't need necks. Where we're going. I'm not doing this slower. I'm just going straight. I just want to see how good it can get. Uh, what was that like? I don't know, level 36? I think that was our new personal best. Well, it's the new personal best out of those motorcycles, I should say. In case you're wondering, there's an oppressor. Now, something I am kind of wondering is will I be able... Man, I get a lot of height when I get yeeted off the board by the balloons. It just makes falling and hitting the ground that hurt that much more. What I was saying is, can I cheat most of the board on this? Oh, we have speed. We have we have a narrow profile. That's working out pretty good. Over to the right, over to the left. Oh yeah. Oh, this is happening. Just go, just go, Gray, just go. Don't even look, I'm not even looking. I'm just going, see, look. If I don't know it's coming, it cannot hurt me. 
That's how- Oh, how wrong I was. I'm Ghost Rider. Oh, I have a boost. I have the boost. If I use the boost, we can cut down on a ton of time. You ready? Right there. Look at it. Oh, yeah. Oh, whoa, the boost. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Oh, I can save this because of the wings. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> Epic Oppressor save! Oh, this is my best run. This is easily my best run right now. And because we do have our boost. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, my boat, my motorcycle. It was cut in half. My beautiful oppressor. Come on, oppressor. I know you can do better than that. I know you can do better than that. Come on, baby. You can get to the end of the water board, right? No. Alex, man, I'm running out of bikes. Patriotism is delicious and painful. Anytime I think about the pain of patriotism, I think about being slapped across the face with a hot dog at light speed. It's all right, we've cleaned this up. This is looking great. This is good. Um, It looks like a pretty high motorcycle though. I don't even think you can make it to 32. And I'm pretty sure it just got hit by a rocket. The future is now and the future tastes like pain. Now this is fast. It's pretty short. And it has really good handling. In fact, I think this motorcycle has the, oh my God, I almost died just then. I think this motorcycle has the best handling of anything in all of GTA. Was this called like the shoe? Yeah, the handling is so good. I killed myself with it. I think this is called the Shataru. It's a motorcycle that I never got to use. Oh my God. No, that I gotta, I gotta throw that motorcycle off of this board. I'm doing something I should have done a long time ago. Get off my board! Boom! Incredible speed. Incredible. This thing doesn't even have tires to pop. It's just, I don't even know what this is. It's just like Tron powers. Why? Why are the tires popped? I am doing all kinds of incredible dodges, except for that last rocket. Level 30, no big deal. Underwater section, doing fantastic. Epic du- No! Oh, what the? What the? What is happening? How is this working? Is it? What? What? Uh, hold on, real quick, do you see this? My motorcycle is just skidding, but half of it is underneath the ground. So I'm getting a new personal best. Look at this. It's, it's working because my motorcycle is so short now. Like, it's still sliding. <laughs> oh, this is going to hurt real bad. Yep, I was right. Nothing quite like getting your gallbladder removed. Maybe me and that motorcycle land close together. Oh, uh, we kind of did. What I was trying to say before I left orbit just then is that now I know what it's like getting my gallbladder oh my god getting my gallbladder removed because Alex is definitely a surgeon he knows how to surgically remove all of my happiness I found the new best way to beat this board you do it all on the right like that so we made it to 40 finally I'm at 41 how much lower does this thing get? Now you may be saying to yourself, Gray, how do you even get further than this? I have a plan. Now normally you can't make it through. However, if you hit the shift button, your character hunches down, eh? Yes. <laughs> oh God, windmills. All right. So are we gonna make it to 50? Ah, come on, I was right there. I think I can do this on this motorcycle. I really do. There's another trick I know to get us even lower. What we're gonna do is when we start getting, okay, so where we start getting here, besides the hunch, I use your head. Um, yeah, if you do it at an angle like this, you can squeeze down even a little bit more. The problem is doing this before the timer runs out. Okay, let's do this. I have done this run so many times. I think I've got left. I think I've got everything timed out. Okay, number 10. Watch out for these. Go straight in the middle, over to the side, over to the left. Start blowing these up. I almost screwed it up and forgot. Oh my God. <laughs> I almost screwed this up. We've got a little over a minute 
To do this, watch out for the tire poppers in the middle. Go across the, one of the glass panes just shattered, but it's okay, we're still fine. Up to 30. In this part, it's just luck. If you hang close over to the right, I think that you have more time. Oh my God. <laughs> 40, you have more time than the thing, before the things explode. You have to do these at an angle so that your head doesn't, no! You have to turn while you're doing this. I need to get up. I need to get back on the bike. I still have like, I don't know, maybe like 15 seconds or something. If you do this at an angle, when you turn, you can get under each one. There's level 50. Level 50. I think I did it with, I think I did it with like 10 seconds left. Maybe like five seconds or something. Hold on. Look, it still hasn't come up yet. We easily got it to the end. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> so did it with about eight seconds left. Okay, Alex. What else do you have for me? What is this? It's level 16. Oh, I know what this is. Hold on. I actually know what this is. So we did a short about real life versus GTA. And I, I know exactly how to beat this. What you do, you line up. We're going to go straight forward. And then you have to lean it and dump it just at the right time. Jump, just lean it. Dump it, there we go. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, I left a strawberry jam slide right behind me there. So where's the... <laughs> okay, so we got 60. Oh, this end. Oh, you have to go upside down. So that's why you had to bring the motorcycle with you. You can't do this without a motorcycle because you have to loop in order to be able... I think you have to loop in order to be able to finish this. All right, we'll find out right now. Let me... <laughs> The train comes through here, almost wipes me out. Okay, and, oh, and we have a winner! <laughs> yes! Ow. Well, I squeezed through the gaps and my joy was squeezed out of my soul. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of GTA. Until next time, stay foxy, much love.